Here's a quick way to get more sales on your WooCommerce website, and that's by adding Apple Pay or Google Pay onto the checkout page. And with the number of e-commerce customers growing in recent years, it would be wise to take every step you can to maximize your sales. Adding a Google Pay or Apple Pay button onto your WooCommerce store can be really convenient for your customers. This is because they no longer have to manually fill in their payment or billing details, they just have to do a few taps and clicks, and boom, their purchase is complete. And because these digital payment methods are from these major companies, Apple and Google, they appear more trustworthy, and it gives your customers a little bit more peace of mind to complete that purchase from your store. And lastly, you don't have to bear any cost to implement this. It's free to set this up, and you don't have to pay any fees to Google or Apple either. And now if you're ready, let's jump onto my computer and I'll show you exactly how we can add a Google Pay or Apple Pay button onto your WooCommerce website. Let's get started. All right, here we are on my computer and this is our e-commerce store right here. As you can see, it's an e-commerce store for a plant shop. And we got our products right here. And all I've done here is install the Astro theme along with the starter template for the plant store. And if you're wondering what starter templates are, they're a library of beautiful, professionally designed website templates that you can load up in just a few clicks, including this one right here. So along with the starter template, we've got our design, the content, some sample products as well. So it's really convenient and it gives you a great starting point to build your website from. I've already gone ahead and added a product to my cart. Let me just show you the checkout page. And this is my checkout page right here. And as you can see, we've got a product right here, but we currently don't have a Google Pay or Apple Pay button anywhere on here. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to add that. And it's really simple to do so. And if you're wondering how I created this checkout page, I've done so using a plugin called CartFlows. And if you wanna learn how to create a similar checkout page for your e-commerce website, I've got a video tutorial on how you can create an awesome modern checkout page using CartFlows. So if you're interested in checking it out, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below, or you can click on the top right corner of your screen right now. All right, so now that we know what our checkout page looks like, let's go into our WordPress dashboard. And from here, we can go ahead and install the plugin that we'll be using to add our new Google Pay and Apple Pay button. All right, so we're gonna go into plugins right here, and we're gonna press add new. From there, we can go on the top right here, and we can search for checkout plugins. And the one we're looking for is here, checkout plugins, Stripe for WooCommerce. We can go ahead and press install now. And we're also going to press activate. There we go. Our plugin has been successfully activated and it's right here. We can go into settings right here to begin configuring the plugin. And there we go. We're in the settings right now. And the first thing you have to do if you haven't done so already is connect your Stripe account. And if you currently don't have a Stripe account, it's free to create one. You can do so in a couple of minutes. But if you already have an account with Stripe, you can just press right here, connect with Stripe. Then you can go ahead and enter your email address to log in. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then it might ask you to verify your login. So we'll send you a six digit verification code to your mobile phone. And I've got my code right here. So I'm going to enter that in. And there we go. Now I can connect my Stripe account to the plugin. Let's go and press connect right here. And now it's returning us back into checkout plugins menu. There we go. Congratulations. You're now connected to Stripe successfully. And we can enable our different gateways right here. Right now we just want the Stripe card processing. We'll leave that on and we're going to enable gateways. And it says right here that since we've enabled Stripe card processing, it also recommends us to enable Express Checkout feature. And that's the exact feature that we're gonna enable to allow us to use Apple Pay and Google Pay right here. So instead of enabling right here, I'm just gonna press skip first. And on this page right here, it's talking about enabling webhooks, but just for now, we're gonna press skip. And here we go, our store is now all set to accept payment. Let's go and press this button right here, let's customize. And that brings us back into the settings of our WordPress dashboard inside WooCommerce settings. So now that we're here, if I go into Stripe API settings, you can see that our Stripe account is now connected to the plugin and all good to go. And now you might've noticed up here, Express Checkout, let's go into that. And this is where we'll enable our Express Checkout button. And that's the Apple Pay and Google Pay button. So right here, we have Enable Express Checkout. We've already got that enabled right here. And if it's not already enabled, you can go and check that right now. And I'll just run you through some of the settings we have with this button. And the first option right here is Show Button On. This is it talking about where that button will appear on your e-commerce store? So right now it's gonna appear on the product page, the cart page, and checkout page. If you wanna remove any of these right here, you can go ahead and press the X beside that tag. There you go, it's removed that one for us. And if you wanna add it again, we can just click right here, and that drop down will show all the possible options. So we can go ahead and add the product page once again, just like that. Now you know how to do that. And next we can also adjust the button text. So the preview should appear right here, we adjust this. There we go, our preview is right there. So now if we adjust this text right here, the button text, pay now. So if I change it to something like Express Checkout, and right here you'll see exactly what the button will look like with that customized text. We're gonna change it to pay now, like that. And that looks simple and neat, and I quite like how that looks. And next we have button theme. So currently it's set to that dark theme, so we can go ahead and change it to the light if we want to. So it's like that. 
So whichever design you want to use, you can go ahead and choose that right here. And I'm just going to change that back to dark because I think it looks a little bit better with the dark button. And next we have product page options. So this is where you can position the button on your product pages. Right here, the first one, the button position. Currently we have it above add to cart. So this is going to be, so that means our button is going to be placed above the add to cart button on our product page. But if I drop that down, we can position it below the add to cart button. And we can also keep it in line with that button as well. So totally up to you where we position it. I'll show you how it looks later on in the video. So I'm just going to leave it as above add to cart. If there's a separator after or before your button, you can adjust the text on that right here as well. Currently it's written as or, but you can change that to whatever text you'd like to. And next we have responsive behavior. It explains right here that this means that the express checkout button will stick at the bottom of the screen on responsive devices. So if you want to have that enabled, you can leave that checked. And next let's move on to cart options. There's not a lot of options here, just the separator text. We can adjust the text just like I mentioned before on the product page. All right, now moving down, we have the checkout page options. And the first one right here is the layout. So we have custom or classic. As you can see, when I change it from custom to classic, it's changed what it looks like. So the classic one features this outline around that express checkout button, and the custom one looks a bit more minimal. So it's totally up to you which one you want to choose. Let's just leave it on custom for now. And next we have the button position. So currently it's set above the checkout form. So that means that our express checkout button will be right at the top of our checkout page. And next we have above billing details. This means that the express checkout button will be in the middle of the page, right above the billing details, but below the checkout form. I'm going to choose the first option once again, just to make sure that our checkout button sits right at the top of the page. Right next, we can change the title for the express checkout. So that's the text you see right here, right there, express checkout. So we can change it to whatever we like. So we can call it Google Pay. Pay now. You can type in anything you want right here. And you can also modify the tagline right here, which is the text here. Next, we can go ahead and modify the button width. So currently, this is the default width right here. And if we want to make that a specific width, we can go and type that in like 100. There we go. It's a much smaller button. If you want to set this back to the default value, you can just delete the number here. There we go. And now we have the alignment. So currently, it's left aligned, as you can see here. We also have the option of center aligning and right aligning it so like that and like that. It's totally up to you how you want it to look. I'm going to leave it on left align because I think it looks quite good. And next, we can also adjust the separated text once again. I'm just going to leave it on or so when we go back to our checkout page once again, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So once you're happy with all the settings right here, you can press save changes right at the bottom. And now that our express checkout has been enabled and all our settings have been saved, let's go back onto the front end of our website and see what it looks like. All right, here we are. So if I go into our cart and press checkout, and here we are in our checkout, and you might notice something different. We have our big express checkout button right here as we've designed it. We have the dark design, we have Pay Now, the text right there, with a Google Pay logo as well. And if you're wondering how we're going to use Apple Pay instead of Google Pay, if you're using Safari, it will automatically show Apple Pay instead of Google Pay. But as you can see, our button is already the text right here. You can customize it to whatever we want. We can customize the tagline. And currently, it's the custom design rather than the classic design. And we also have our separator text right here, or. And currently, it's appearing right above our form, right at the top of the page. So when a customer arrives on the checkout page, the first thing they'll see is this express checkout button with Google Pay enabled. And already it will seem a lot more secure and convenient. And all they have to do is press this button right here. And if they're connected to Google Pay or Apple Pay, they can easily and conveniently complete the checkout. And similarly, we have our express checkout button right here in our cart as well. So rather than going straight to the checkout page, you can even check out using Google Pay or Apple Pay straight from the cart. And there you go. That's how you can add a Google Pay or Apple Pay button onto your WooCommerce website. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to learn how to customize your WooCommerce checkout page and get even more conversions, you should check out this video right here. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.